You don't want to miss today's video because I'm answering the number one question that I get asked all the time, whether I'm speaking at a conference, coaching real estate clients on starting a Facebook group or in my coaching program. It is a question that everyone asks and I know you're thinking it too. Do you want to know the number one question that I get asked whenever I'm speaking at a conference or I'm coaching real estate agents to start Facebook groups or maybe it's teaching in my course on one on one with our weekly content. The number one question that I get asked all the time is if I start a Facebook group local to my community to generate leads for my business, what happens if other real estate agents, lenders or title reps want to join my group? What do I do? And why does this always feel so like contentious, right? And it's really a simple answer. Uh, the answer is, what if they want to join? You don't let them in. And everyone always kind of like, what? Like, oh, I feel so cruel. Why would you say that? They're going to hate me. That's so mean. No, it really isn't. And it's so simple. I don't allow other real estate agents in my group. The reason that I don't is really simple. And if you think about it, as real estate agents, what's one of our number one lead generation sources that a lot of agents will do? It's open houses, right? So whenever people are starting, they always are taught, do open houses, do open houses, right? But if you were to host an open house and you were sitting inside the house, and you know, a lot of like unrepresented buyers come and things like that, or maybe even some neighbors will come to check you out to see if they want you to list their house. Would you let another real estate agent sit at that door and collect their information? No, no, you wouldn't do that. Then why are you letting them in your open house? So don't let them in your group. But it's the same way with lenders. And I'm gonna explain this a little bit. I used to let other lenders in my group. But what I started realizing was um, some of them were kind of going behind my back. And whenever someone posts, I need a real estate agent, you might get you know like 20 comments about me and maybe you know a few other real estate agents. Well, sometimes the lenders were going and going, oh, you don't want to use Laura. You want to use this person. And they're trying to get the business and give it to their real estate agent as a lead. So don't let other lenders in your business or into your group. If you have a lender that you work with and they want to join your group and support you, I highly recommend that. Same with title reps. Title reps sometimes have an allegiance to another real estate company, a brokerage. Uh, maybe they have a like, a like an agreement with them or a partnership, things like that. So if you find out that other title reps are in your group, get them out too. I, it just, it's really that simple. And how I prevent real estate agents from joining our group, I think our area has, uh, I think it's like 55,000 or something real estate agents. It's crazy. I don't know them all. So I don't, I have a VA who does a little bit of adminning in my group, but I don't let her add people to the group. I add them because what I'll look for is see what groups that we are in that are similar. So if they're in a real, so if someone wants to join my group, and they're in another real estate group, I don't let them in. If it, if I recognize the name, I don't let them in. Sometimes people will have it in their bio that they are real estate agents with X, you know, X, like Keller Williams or Redfin or whatever it is. I don't let them in my group. Occasionally, one will slip by because maybe they're new or maybe they've joined my group and then they get their real estate license. Or sometimes I'll find out maybe their husband is a real estate agent and so they start promoting that person. What I just do is I just delete them from the group. It's really that simple. And I will say occasionally people come back and, oh, you kicked me out of the group or, oh, you won't let me in your group. And it's okay. And I just let them know. It's my lead generation tool for my business. I'm giving back to the community. I'm providing value. I've put a lot of time, lots of hours, and some a little bit of money into my group with having a virtual assistant now and, and some of my email content that I create and things like that and having an email um, service provider. So I do pay money to have this group. So why would I let you into it to lead generate for yourself? It's really that simple. So to answer the question, do I let real estate agents, lenders, and title reps into my group? No. And don't feel bad about it. If they get mad, you're gonna have to have a little bit of a thick skin because some are gonna get mad and just let it roll off your back and just go, you know what? It's okay. And they will find their own lead generation source and just don't let them get upset with you. And if some people question you, it's okay, they are. If you have any questions about starting a Facebook group and whether it's the right thing for you, if you comment below, we've got a webinar, or look at the link in the description below, we've got a webinar for you all about everything there is to know about having a Facebook group. Or if you have any questions, feel free to comment or send me a message. I would love to help you start your journey of starting a Facebook group for lead generation.